often we hurt, scare, yep. or harm one another out of love, In the name out of, of love. concern. Right. Yeah. Right. You know, I mean, we, you know, America is scary. You know, certainly if you are uh, raising a black kid, certainly if you're raising a gay kid, since I've been doing, you know, uh, this, this book tour for the last few weeks, you know, um, moms have come up to me and they talk about Matthew Shepard or they right. talk about Atiana Jefferson, young 28 in, woman in, in Fort, 20, Worth, who in Fort Worth who was just shot and killed. And they're like, I am scared. Right. And I, you know, and sometimes when we're scared, like my mother, you know, we get silent. My mother and I had a vibrant relationship, but her response, I think, to fear about having a gay black son was that she just couldn't talk about sexuality. Yeah. That was the one silence. For my grandmother, she her response was proactive. Right. She was like, oh, okay, I'm going to save a soul. Let's, I, take, let's is, just take him to church. More church mm, is More the church, yeah. So, so, so this book is, in essence, a book about you coming to terms with and better understanding who you are. Yes. Right? Yeah. And when I said earlier that there was something universal about mm -hmm. it, you know, I sit here as a straight white man mm -hmm. who grew up in the Northeast. You're a gay black man who grew yeah. up in Texas. Yeah. But there is a connection between us, and I connected with this book in part because we've all been through the process yes. of discovering who we are. Mm -hmm. And so whether the narrative through line in your story is right. about sexual orientation or it's about race mm -hmm. or it's about geography, because right. I think geography Place is as is really much important. a big, really important in this book. Mm -hmm. Nonetheless, what it's fundamentally about is understanding better who you are, True. discovering who you are. True. That, yeah. that, and that really is the, the, the point of that's this the book. Point. And that's why it's right. how we fight for our lives, not right. how I how fought, you for, fought my for your life. Right. Because, and I'm so glad you, you draw attention to this. Also, you're the first straight white man who's gotten to interview me for the book. So. Is that right? Yeah, how's it feel? Is it good for you? Um, <laughs> good for you. <laughs> no, but I'm. I'm I'm, I'm happy to have that You're superlative. Welcome. You're, You're welcome. Thank you very You're much. Welcome. Yeah. Wear it well. Yeah, yeah. Um, but that's the thing because we, are, we all are, have gone through this process and are still going through it. It never yeah. ends, this work of understanding who we are and what we care about. And so whether you know it or not, you are fighting for your life. And I would argue that if you think you aren't, yeah. You've got a hell of a fight yet to come. And, and also, if you think you're ever done yeah. with that process of understanding mm -hmm. who you are, you're wrong. Yeah, because if, yeah, the fact is, yeah. the, the end of this book, it's like not like, okay, mm -mm. I'm done. Works in progress. I figured it out. It's, it's, it's a work in progress.